The Galen Hour. PM and Love Television and Facebook Live. A pleasant good night to one and all. Um, I, my name is Diana Gomez Perifit, and I am the host for the Galen Hour. Welcome, welcome to our very first show of this season. This is the first in several shows and several seasons, and we are really, really happy to be able to bring this um, show that is directed and produced by the Galen University. Um, we will be carried live on Love FM. And we will also be streamed on Love's FB page. And we will also stream on the Galen University's Facebook page. So we look forward to engaging you. The Galen Hour Show is a show that is geared at many topics. We are going to be discussing um, matters that are relevant to our university, to our students, to our community. Um, We're going to look at how we are impacting the development of our country. We are actually truly excited to be bringing our Galen Hour to our Belizean people, to our community, to our viewers from abroad and from locally. So we thank you for being here with us tonight. The, the, um, it is going to be a Thursday night show. Um, we will be focusing on our most precious products tonight, our Galen Eagles. And if you are familiar with Galen University, you know our Eagles, our graduates, and all of our stakeholders who are involved at Galen University. Um, we will we'll have shows that where we'll have our programs being given, you'll be given information on our programs, our deans will make appearances. We will talk about Galen's relevance and commitment to developing our country. We will also be looking at um, talking about how Galen really focuses on his committed to lifelong learning, academic excellence, sustainable development, and we will share what's new at Galen. And Galen is our nation's premier private university, and we are really, really very pleased to share with our nation all that's happening, all that's in the pipeline. There's a lot of wonderful things coming out of Galen University, and the Galen Hour will be a forum where we will share all of this with you. Um, we will weigh in from an academic perspective, on national issues, and it surely will be an enjoyable show. We're happy to have you here with us tonight, and we look forward to engaging you each Thursday night at 8 o'clock. We invite you to come soar with us, um, be part of our Eagle Pride, be part of our, be one of our Galen Eagles. We hope that you will make us a special part of your Thursday night. And so, welcome again to the Galen Hour. At this time, we will take a short break, and when we come back, we will be joined um, by three of our eagles. Um, we really, really are very proud of the journeys that our graduates have taken, 
Um, there's a lot of success coming out of um, Galen Eagles. And so when I say Galen Eagles, I'm really referring to the, the product and the students who graduate from our university. And um, so tonight we start our season, our Galen Show season, this first in several, by showcasing three of our eagles who are really soaring um, and on the right path to absolute success and doing well. And we hope that from their sharing of their information and their life and how they've reached where they are, how Galen has impacted them, that we're able to encourage um, and guide and, and provide some kind of um, information that will help all of our young people who are really at that point, or, and even older people who are at that point where they need to make a decision as to how do I move forward with my education and where will this investment in my education take me. So we will be back in a few minutes and we will be joined by our three Galen Eagles. Thank you and I'll see you in a few. I chose Galen because of its strong reputation, great scholarships. I came because I can take all my classes online. I was happy to see the emphasis placed on thinking, research and writing. It is what I need to take me where I want to go. I like the way my professors use non-traditional activities to evaluate my progress. I am very grateful for the wide range of support that helps me to do my utmost best. Everything from tutoring to personal counseling, including the writing lab, the success center, and the e-library. Galen gave me the tools to turn my passion for archaeology into a career. If you want to connect with your inner champion to make the world a better place, then Galen is right for you. Apply online at our website and come soar with the Galen Eagles. Did you know that Galen University is offering a 20% tuition discount? In recognition of the challenging economic times, Galen University is offering a 20% tuition discount. Apply now at admissions at galen.edu.bz, call us at 615-3921, or visit our website at www.galen.edu.bz. Welcome back to the Galen Hour. I want to um, welcome our guests who are joining us from here in Belize, Taiwan and the USA. Technology is fantastic, isn't it? So we will have with us tonight three of our Galen graduates, three of our very strong Galen Eagles who are impacting um, lives in, as they pave their journey to success and to um, and, and we hope that they're going to be encouraging stories for our, our young and our old. And um, we have them on with us tonight. We will be um, joined by Sylvia Bate, who many of us probably already know. Hi, um, Sylvia. Um, we were also joined by Nikolai Polito, who is all the way in Taiwan. And we're being joined by um, Jar Jarrell. Yes, I got your name right. Jarrell Velasquez, who is in the USA. So... Um, this should be a very interesting and enjoyable um, night, and it is a pleasure. This is the first time I'm meeting our guest in person, in face, talking to a few of them for the first time, and so it really is going to be a good night. Um, I know a lot about you. I've heard about you, and so I'm really pleased to have you here with us tonight. So let us start then. Let us start by having, or I, I'll introduce you one by one, then ask you to just please say something. Um, to introduce yourselves to our audience, and then we can get the show started, talking about all the fun things, talking about how Galen impacted you, talking about how the moments that you remember that really helped to push you through those tough times. 
and, um, and getting into um, the crux of why we're here tonight. So, Silvia Bate is an archaeologist working at Niche Institute of Archaeology and the Heritage Education Network of Belize. Silvia graduated from Galen in 2012 with a Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. Welcome, Silvia. We also have with us tonight Nikolai Polito, who is joining us from Taiwan. Nikolai graduated from Galen in the spring of 2020 with a major in international business. He is currently pursuing his master's degree in Taiwan. Welcome, Nikolai. And joining us from the USA is Jarrell Velasquez. Jarrell is an entrepreneur who graduated from Galen in 2017 with a Bachelor of Science in Marketing. Welcome, Jarrell. Welcome to all three of you. All right. So I finally get to engage you on this wonderful platform. Um, and I am really excited to hear more from you. And we're happy that we're able to share you all and your experiences with our Belizean public, with our students. This is graduation time. High schools are graduating. Junior colleges are graduating. Galen's graduation is in a couple of weeks. You know, tertiary education. So this is graduation season. So I think this is a well-timed um, show. And I'm, I'm really hoping that at the end of tonight, we are able to inspire um, a lot of our young people, a lot of individuals who are looking for, for, for what next and how do I pursue my education and afford what I really want to do. So let us start with Sylvia. Sylvia, can you just tell us a little bit about who you are? What are you up to? What are you doing? Um, let's get started with you, Sylvia. Are you hearing me? So yes, so we- Hi, okay. good night. I'm not sure if um, you can hear us, but perhaps the questions can be posted in the chat and then we can address them there. Okay, so, um, so I, I'm- I'd okay. start off the, the conversation in that manner, if everyone can hear us. We can hear you, Sylvia. Right. Uh, all right. We're very excited to share about Galen University. Okay, so you all can't hear me. But we are hearing you loud and clear. And the first question, that what I'm really asking you is just to, to give us a little brief intro about yourself and where you are, what you're doing, um, to get us started. So I think Silva is asking if we can post the question in the chat. Is that that's going to help? <laughs> Yeah, so, so both, all, all three of our um, eagles that we have on with us tonight um, have attended Galing during the days when we had face-to-face -face, um, that option. It wasn't even an option. It was just that's what we do. And, and really and truly, the option was if you wanted to do online. But most people were opting for face-to-face. -face, and so they got the full impact and experience of what a Galing experience is. And so it really is... Um, wonderful to have them with us tonight. I am hoping that, um, I know I can hear them very clearly. I'm hoping we are able to sort out the audio issues so that they can, they can talk freely and understand uh, so that the discussion flows a little bit more freer. But we do, um, we do, we do know that they have a lot to share. Um, Nikolai is a full-time master's student in Taiwan. So he can tell you about his journey, how wonderful Galen was and how it prepared him to be where he is now. Um, Sylvia Bati is one of the archaeologists that we, um, we see often and use. We know Belize is a, is a nice location when you talk archaeology, you're talking about Maya ruins and she's, uh, she works at the niche um, center and the archaeology center. So she really is involved in what's going on in Belize. And Gerald brings a really interesting twist to, um, to what you can do with your degree. Um, he's an entrepreneur, and um, I want him to share his story. But I, um, So we know he has actually been doing lots of wonderful things, and he's currently operating out of the U.S. So um, we're, we're actually going to sort out why it is they're not able to hear or order, because we hear them really clearly. When um, 
when they're on, when, when they're sleeping. So can, I, I would like, we'll, we'll take a break and we'll come back shortly. Let us just sort out our guests and help to ensure that they can hear so this conversation moves the way we want it. We have a really wonderful show lined up for you tonight. And um, we can take a quick ad break to sort out technical difficulties. As wonderful as technology is, and we hear this all the time, it comes with its own complications. And um, we are streaming two of our guests um, live from outside of our country. One is in Taiwan, one is in the US. Sylvia is in Belize, but all three of them are um, in experiencing the very same difficulties. So I'm sure the technicians are working on it, and um, as soon as this sorted out we will continue with our show but i can get in good strong reputation great scholarship i came because i can take all my classes online i was happy to see the emphasis placed on thinking research and writing it is what i need to take me where i want to go I like the way my professors use non-traditional activities to evaluate my progress. I am very grateful for the wide range of support that helps me to do my utmost best. Everything from tutoring to personal counseling, including the writing lab, the success center, and the e-library. Galen gave me the tools to turn my passion for archaeology into a career. If you want to connect with your inner champion to make the world a better place, then Galen is right for you. Apply online at our website and come soar with the Galen Eagles. is offering a 20% tuition discount? In recognition of the challenging economic times, Yellen University is offering a 20% tuition discount. Apply now at admissions at yellen.edu.bz, call us at 615-3921, or visit our website at www.yellen.edu.bz. Strong reputation. Great scholarship. I came because I can take all my classes online. I was happy to see the emphasis placed on thinking, research, and writing. It is what I need to take me where I want to go. I like the way my professors use non-traditional activities to evaluate my progress. I am very grateful for the wide range of support that helps me to do my utmost best. Everything from tutoring to personal counseling, including the writing lab, the success center, and the e-library. Galen gave me the tools to turn my passion for archaeology into a career. If you want to connect with your inner champion to make the world a better place, then Galen is right for you. Apply online at our website and come soar with the Galen Eagles. is offering a 20% tuition discount? In recognition of the challenging economic times, Yellen University is offering a 20% tuition discount. Apply now at admissions at yellen.edu.bz, call us at 615-3921, 
or visit our website at www.kla.edu.bc. And we're back. So uh, we got it sorted out. So I want to welcome our guests. We have three of our Galen Eagles, three of our graduates um, here with us tonight. We have Sylvia Batte, we have Nikolai Polito, and we have Jarrell Velasquez. And I'd really like for us to just engage them now and have them tell us a little bit about themselves. Really and truly the focus of tonight is on our Eagles. So if we could start with um, Sylvia, I think we have sorted out the audio. There you are. Yes. And I, okay, Sylvia, you're hearing me? No? Yes? I think we, we froze. Yeah. So let's, let's see this. Let's see how. Okay. So. Yeah, so what we, will, we really want to hear from them is how Galen impacted them and how their experience at Galen really made a difference in terms of where they are today in their lives. And they're the only ones who can really tell that story. And so we really have to bear with the technical issues until we can get them on. But in the meantime, um, just to reiterate, I'll, I'll use the time since I'm still on air, that Galen is still in its recruitment process. We are still accepting applicants. We, you can come to Galen straight from high school. You can come to Galen out of a tertiary institution such as a sixth form. You can transfer to us. You can start from your bachelor's degree from and do all four years at Galen. Um, we encourage you to go look on our website www.galen.edu.bz find out all about our institution what we're doing what we offer how unique and wonderful we are um, and pick a program we have several different faculty programs and the three different faculties we are really going we've just introduced our Philemon media school we have new um, and other institutes that will be introduced over the course of um, this year uh, we have lots of new developments happening at our university. We pride on ourselves on being student-centered. Um, we, our faculty are top-notch. We really find the best of the best to work with us at Galen because we want to ensure that we continue to provide a quality education, that it's worth your investment, and that at the end of your time at Galen, that you're able to look back and be proud that you have invested wisely and that your success really was carved um, by your interactions with Galen. And um, so we are still waiting for our guests and so I'm just filling you in a little bit. We do have our Faculty of Business and Entrepreneurship who, that is led by the Dean um, Dr. Silva Catus. We have a Faculty of Art, Science, and Technology, and the Dean is Dr. Dr. Sherry Gibbs. Good. So, so we, we oh, oh, yes, yes. Wonderful. wonderful. We have, we have our, our three, three graduates. graduates. Welcome, Welcome again. again. And let's try to get this going, and hopefully we don't have any other issues. Oh, welcome. So, Sylvia, tell us, tell us, what are you up to? What are you doing? Um, we know we see you every so often on the news. We're always proud when we see you. Tell us about yourselves. What are you up to? Hello, good night everyone. Um, thank you very much for having me on here. I'm very excited to be here talking about Galen. Um, you know, I'm a proud eagle, so I, I do not hesitate to say that um, in any of my capacities, in my professional life, in my personal life. Um, well, 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 well. Yes, we're excited to be here. So 
answer to your question, what am I doing? I am doing astrology. Astrology is what I live and what I breathe. Um, but I am currently employed at the Institute of Archaeology NIC. So I am a art in government of English. Um, I've been employed for from Galen. Um, had some relationships before I had completed my final semester. So I had a couple more weeks before I got employed. So so straight into the workforce. Wonderful. And, um, I also co-found and co-direct um, Heritage Education Network Beneath, along with another boss of Galen Eagle, Rico Martinez, and a couple other people who have contributed in their own way. Uh, to Yale University with um, Dr. Rebecca Vidal, I should say, and with Elena Petty. So um, in my everyday life, in archaeology and in my professional career, also still working in archaeology and thanks to my Yale Foundation. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. I'm sure you're making Dean Gibbs very proud tonight. All right. So, um, Jarrell, tell us about you. What are you up to? Where are you? Very nice. Um, yes, so I'm sure you'll tell us a little bit more about what other things you have been doing and, and how very wonderful and diverse you are. But thank you, Jarrell. And then Nikolai, I had a brief conversation with Nikolai a few, a couple months ago, and this has been long overdue. Nikolai, tell us, we know you're in Taiwan. Tell us. What are you up to? Yes, at the moment I am situated in Taipei, Taiwan. I received the, the IPDF scholarship roughly about a year ago, actually. And um, it was a rough time, obviously, because at the moment um, COVID was very alive and well in the news, and everything was um, quite crazy at the time. And I had a revenue period, short period, short period to come here. Mm -hmm. So then everything other than that went very smoothly, and here, Acting as a front of trying to absorb talent and learn and learning from everyone. And um, so, yeah, right at the moment, I am a full time student at Ming Chuan University uh, in, like I said, Taipei, Taiwan. Fantastic, guys. So, we really have good diversity. Um, w obviously, our eagles can travel the world and still be successful. And this makes us very proud. So, Tell us how, where you are today was influenced by your time, your education, your experience at Galen University. Who first? Okay, Jarrell. <laughs> Go first, Jarrell. I think you're holding out on us. <laughs> well, um... What my time at Galen, first of all, it, it was an awesome experience. It definitely gave me, you know, to be the person that I am today. I was very, I was very young when I went to Galen, um, and um, you know, I kind of didn't have it figured out. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't really know how I was going to get there. And coming from Belize, you know, a third world country, you know, my fault is not necessarily something that you, know, you can have a career off. I do. For me to get the mission that I want, I would have to know how to sell myself and um, kind of perform my put my world. So I, I stuck in child fields. Um, I was able to kind of just learn the tricks of the trade and learn how to navigate, you know, through the internet and, and, and promotion wise and stuff. So mm -hmm. I was able to kind of learn all that and get. Oh, just, just, just being able to, you know, put out a certain image and standing at work is just at work. And so, uh, much, much love at the university for putting me in a position to understand how, how this world works. So, for sure, it is definitely, and like, I, I don't think I would be where I'm at without the, the education that I got at Gillen University. Fantastic. And the f Dean of the Faculty of Business and Entrepreneurship is in studios with us. 
So I'm sure she's proud. She's grinning from cheek to cheek. <laughs> Dr. Katus is here. She's very proud of you. Um, okay, Nikolai, I hear about your football skills and just how involved you were um, when you were on campus. Tell us a bit more about your experience and how Galen impacted you and where you are today. Yes, it is. Well, half, half true. I would say that is half true. I'm not sure about the skills part. But, um, when I was at Yale, um, I received a, a scholarship, uh, which was a work study scholarship that was offered. Um, I'm very blessed to have received that scholarship, actually. However, the first, the first um, year that I received that was I was under the marketing department, and um, had nothing to do with the sports, the sports team at the time. However, I, like, like I said, I have this passion for football, and I, I live, eat, breed football. <laughs> and, um, at the time, there was um, a very big uh, commotion about having a girls' team. Okay. And um, by myself with the sports director, Bernie Tarr, and Eric Martinez, we made it come true, and we managed to obtain a, a group of girls um, that were willing to play, and we we got them to practice, and that was so fun for me. And I, mean, I, I take pride in this because mm. everyone, everyone saw me as the head coach. Oh, he's the head coach. You know, so I <laughs> about it, and, and I did everything I could, and I went out of my way, went the extra mile for the girls and for the boys too, to you know make mm. practices and and do extracurricular activities together just to build that chemistry. And well, I like to look back in retrospect to to say that. That experience with the girls in the competition athlete, uh, the, there was the first women's football team. We got first victories as a woman as a women's football team at Galen University, mm -hmm. and we really were the the, the dark horses, the underdogs, and, and they really did succeed beyond expectations. And like I said, I'm, to this day, I'm still proud of the girls. Fantastic. So obviously, they saw the leadership skills in you. Um, Nikolai and and you lived up oh, to it. Oh, you can't hear us. <laughs> oh, so they're not hearing us. But yes, so um, we're hearing some yes. good things. Are you hearing us now? Yes, Are you here? Okay, Sylvia. good. So Sylvia, tell us, tell us about how your experience at Galen has led to where you are, impacted you, um, influenced your path. Um, well, first and foremost, Galen was the only place in Belize where I could study archaeology. Still is. Um, and that was definitely the, the drawing factor for me. Because I had did my associate's degree at SJCJC, so I had gone there, I had done um, the history program. So, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for that. That gave me a very strong background in history. But I knew all along that I wanted to study archaeology. And um, moreover, I was very interested in Maya archaeology. And um, I looked at, at several different degrees in foreign universities. But, you know, Galen provided me with that opportunity to study archaeology, to study it in Belize. Um, to be right among all of these archaeological sites, all of these collections, all of these archaeologists, and really um, immerse myself in archaeology. And I'm so grateful that I had that opportunity to be able to study archaeology, um, to be able to study archaeology in Belize. And at that university, I mean, Galen, the, the intro program there is so strong, we're so close knit. Um, even as as graduates who you know maintain strong working relationships among each other, um, we still go back to Galen. A lot of us we visit, we contribute where we can. Um, so I'm I'm super super form, uh, fortunate to have received that formative training um, in Belize um, and at a at a university that really catered for anthropology, really catered for archaeology and who continues to innovate that field. I'm very proud of you guys. <laughs> very proud of you as well. And I'm sure Dean Gibbs is very happy to hear this. Just today I know she asked us if we wanted to make a trip to San San Antonich because some of our students are up there. So our archaeology program is still very vibrant, very strong, one of the best. So thank you, Sylvia. 
Yeah, so a, a few very important things came up, and I, I would like for you to share with our viewing audience how, how you, going to university is an investment. Not all of us are, um, have the same um, funds available to us, but we all have our aspirations, and we all have to find ways to get where we want to go. Nikolai spoke about a work scholar and being a work scholar at Galen, and that really is an opportunity that we offer to students. Where there's a will, there's a way. We are not gonna give up if we want to ensure we get our education. So there's opportunity for work scholarships. And I'm not sure, Jarrell or um, Sylvia, um, what your particular circumstances were with respect to affording college, and college is an investment, one well worth it, but can you help to encourage people and tell them how do you approach affording university? How do you not give up on your dream of an education just by saying, well, I don't have the funds? What steps do you take to ensure you can actually find the funds, find means and ways? Uh, I'll go ahead and go first. Um, it, in my case, I was born with a uh, full athletic scholarship to attend Gala University. And, um, you know, that was that was the, the way that I was able to get there. Now, as it relates to, you know, gaining the funds, my my hard work enabled me to, I guess, be good enough to, to where I could have gotten that scholarship. So all the, you know, the early morning mornings, getting up at 4 a.m., you know, the late nights, the midnight workouts, those literally translated, translated into, it's one opportunity to, you know, get a scholarship at Galen. So um, to any athlete out there, you know, just just put in the work, connect with the right people and um, and, and show yourself, you know, uh, Galen has no uh, moved on from not just a basketball scholarship as it was when I was there, but um, but now, you know, to other sports as well. So if I'm not mistaken, I have the volleyball and Coach Starr does a great job of recruiting, yes, of, of picking out talent very early. He has his eyes on the high school kids and guys that, uh, you know, just just good enough. So I always used to say that if, if you're good, they'll find you. And all you have to do is just kind of just put it to work in your part, have good grades. So, um, you know, on, on behalf of all the athletes and, and the people that that are into sports, I know that's one way that you, know, you could be a part of Galen University as it was the way that I was. Very good. Thank you for that. Yes, athletic scholarships are one of the ways that quite a few of our athletes and students are able to afford university. And we are very happy at Galen that we are able to afford our young Belizeans um, this opportunity. Um, so yes, we've heard of, we have athletic scholarships, we have work scholarships. Um, Nikolai, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit more about your work scholarship and how that particularly, in particular, worked for you. Yes, I would like to say first off that uh, at Gale University, for those that are uh, fully responsible for paying for their own tuition aid, I can only say good things about Gale because they're very, very understanding and they always find ways that uh, would benefit the pair. Um, and my family has benefit, benefited from that, uh, truly. Okay, my family is a, is a full Gillen, well, almost full Gillen family. My dad, he went to Gillen University. My brother, uh, his, his fiance, soon to be wife. And, mm -hmm. and so we all just love being at Gillen. That experience is just something so incredible as you all must agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, the work study um, scholarship in I was blessed to receive it in my in my second going into my second semester at the university. Um, like I said, I was in the marketing department. Um, I think it was a wonderful experience actually because um, under the department we were um, responsible for for holding certain events for gaming, uh, not only in the college district but our own um, needs. Whenever needed, they just call us and say, hey, we need a boot set up here at this specific time. And well, we're, we always look forward to going because we can get 
uh, these shirts for gear, for getting these keychains, these flyers, and just getting a chance to talk all about getting and its, and its wonderfulness. So I think that was a wonderful experience in getting out and practicing, uh, uh, practicing, communicating, um, mm -hmm. and marketing Gillian University as this wonderful institution that it is. So I think that was a wonderful experience. However, um, I was moved to the sports department, like I mentioned before, right after, um, mostly because I was in love with football and it was football season. Mm -hmm. And well, mm -hmm. I think that went very well as well because I was, I was given new responsibilities that were never seen before. The, and well, uh, Coach Starr, he, he was not too familiar with football. Okay. So he had a lot of trust in me and I felt that those are it's a very good feeling to have been trusted by the uh, by coach because you know how coach is and he's very uh, motivational and, and strict. So having been given that trust, it was very special to me and it excited me and I felt like I had a, a job to do in order to bring success of some sort, which, of which we did with the girls team. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a great experience to have that work scholar, um, that work study scholarship at Kaylin University. A very nice, um, Nikolai. Thank you for that. And I like that you brought up the fact that the word scholarships are, are opportunities for you to grow. It's not necessarily, uh, people here work scholar and it probably has a certain connotation of maybe cleaning, sweeping, particularly in high schools. But when you hit Galen University, it's a whole different experience when you're having a work scholar. You can, we currently have a work scholar who works with us in our admissions department. We have work scholars who work in a registrar department. We have work scholars, as Nikolai just said, who um, work in marketing. So you are being, you're getting additional grooming and guidance and exposure. And so it really is a Absolutely. fantastic opportunity. Good. Sylvia, tell us, what is your particular experience when it comes to affording university? Um, <laughs> so I think tonight you, you selected three scholars from Yale University. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So I also received a scholarship, um, but my one only covered a third of my time at Yale. So my one was the financial needs scholarship. <clears throat> Sorry. So it was based on financial need and also balanced by academic merit. Um, and I received that for my last two semesters at Galen. Um, so for my first three semesters there, so I did two semesters and um, a summer program, um, that money came out of pocket. Um, it was not a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. um, I come from a single parent household, so I was fortunate um, to have a parent and mom who actually paid um, for my schooling, and I know a lot of people maybe um, would not would not would not have that to be accessible for them. Um, it was tough um, choosing to go to Galen. There was a lot of lifestyle changes that I had to make um, mm -hmm. to ensure that ends of meet um, because it was um, significantly more than than a couple other universities. But the way I balance it is that I put the 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 I balance the education that I'm receiving to what it would have cost me to do an archaeology degree outside of Belize. And that would have been so, so much more than I ever um, than I ever would have would have had to pay at Galen University. And um, so for me it really was a matter of the value of the education that I'm getting and the ability to receive that education, um, that education in Belize and, and at Galen. Um, I was fortunate to receive that financial uh, scholarship to cover my last two semesters, so that was a really, really great help um, to me and to my family. Um, I am forever thankful for that, um, even though it was only for the last two semesters, you know, everything helps. And I will tell the scholars who have applied and maybe not um, being able to receive a scholarship, apply again. There's mm -hmm. always that second semester. Um, keep your GPA up. Um, other universities will look at your GPA if you want to go into graduate school. Galen University will look at your GPA. Um, I li like what Nicolai said about um, having a very understanding department. I think that's one of the things I like about Galen the most. They're very close-knit, they're very understanding, and if you just take that time to sort of talk and say hi, this is the challenges that I'm that I'm um, facing at this moment. Then you know you're going to receive that help. It's just a matter of of asking 
I will say too that I receive a second sort of scholarship, so that um, international cooperation that Galen has with Memorial University. I did receive a scholarship to go and do a semester abroad. Unfortunately, I couldn't take it out because um, I didn't have enough credit hours, so I had to have a certain amount of credits. And because I overloaded in my first two semesters in my summer, I, I wasn't able to take that on. But I was excited also at the opportunity to, to know go to Canada and spend a semester out there. I know a lot of Gale and Eagles have taken that opportunity as well. So there's just so many scholarships and so many aid from the systems that, that Gale and has and it helped for a lot of us. Yes, thank you for that. And, and this is actually just by chance that I, we selected three, three Galen graduates who actually were all, um, who all benefit from Galen um, um, assistance. So we do have scholarships, as you've heard. We have athletic scholarships. We've had, uh, we have work scholarships. We have scholarships based on needs. We also have recently added a George Cable Price scholarship, which is particularly and specifically for a public officer. That's brand new. We haven't yet had the first person, but for this new um, school year coming up, we should have the first um, recipient for that particular scholarship. We have the De Minita um, Gordon Scholarship, which is a scholarship given to a student who's taking secondary education. And, and so you've heard from or people who've actually benefited. There's also the opportunity for payment plans and there's also loans that Galen affords you. So Galen is affordable. It is a worthy investment and you've heard it. Right? So thank you very much for that. Um, so as you've been, you've, you've moved on from Galen, but Galen will forever be a part of who you are and what you are. That is one thing I have found to be true. Galen graduates are forever and ever Galen Eagles and are forever proud to say that they're an Eagle. And that says a mouthful for the institution, what it does for its, its um, students. But I want you to tell us about moments in your life, because I want this to be inspiring to all the young people, to all the people who are looking to go back to school. Um, where, name some specific occasions, not opportunities, maybe opportunities, um, in your lifetime when you had said, oh my God, thank goodness I attended Galen, or thank God I, got, I sacrificed, because all of you spoke of sacrifice to make sure I got my bachelor's degree. And look at how it is, look at where it's taken me. Yeah, can I go first? Go, of course. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, I, I remember a situation in, in China, uh, my second year in China, so this was about maybe 2019. Uh, I, was, I was the director of basketball operations for a or a company in Shenzhen, and um, so my job was to was to basically grow the grow the company, and so it, the, it's a big time company, and and they tr entrusted me with the with the responsibility to to grow the basketball program, so get get kids to sign up for the program. Um, I had to go in different, I had to go to schools to recruit and to kind of just pitch uh, what we had going on at the time. And so I was, uh, I was, I found myself, you know, here I am being a basketball guy, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm having to go to these schools. <laughs> I'm doing two schools a week, conducting presentations as to what this company offers and um, why, you know, these kids sign up with this, this particular company. And I was, I did a month long school tour. So um, I was all over the all over the city. I mean, so it was, it was it was about, if I'm not mistaken, about four to five different schools, and and just going and doing you know an, a one hour presentation with the PowerPoint, and it just took me back to my days with Dr. Uh, with Dr. Lascott. So <laughs> shout out to Dr. Our uh, this summer before going into into uh, Galen University, 2011, I had to um, I think this English class. I don't remember if it was. Remedial English or some type of English, I don't remember, but English 101, I'm not sure, but I had Dr. Lashkat, and, and it was so tough. Uh, I, remember, I remember not having a computer at home at the time, so I used to have to borrow my friend's computer at, at like 3 a.m. trying to figure out how I'm going to get this, 
my my get thirty because I have class with Dr. Lashka and it was, it was so <laughs> tough, but it prepared me to to be able to conduct those presents when you know uh, it was probably like seven years later. So I clearly remember myself. Thank goodness I had the Dr. Lashka experience, <laughs> and I'm sure you would see me in these real cute bro, you know, and. So one hundred percent credit to that English course that I took in 2011 <laughs> to get into killing. <laughs> That's a wonderful. <laughs> That's a wonderful story. <laughs> I hope okay, Dr. Lascott is hearing this. To that story there with Dr. Lascott. I think at the, I'm not sure if she's still at Yemen, but at the time, that in itself, just having a class with Dr. Lascott was worth the investment of going to Yale University. <laughs> That was such a great experience. You learned so much. Although it's just an English, it, it's just an English course. It, it's so important to have to have taken that course for me then, because I remember my first submission for her. Uh, in fact, I remember uh, Jarrell had a, a talk at Yale before, where he mentioned that you know Dr. Nasca, he she she really makes it work for your money really put you to the test. And I'm like, yeah, right, there's no way, right? But I mean, I took this class with Dr. Alaska, <laughs> and believe you me, I came out a, a far better student, a far better a far better researcher, and a far better everything, a better speaker, everything she used was just so amazing. Wow. And up to this day, I think the one thing that I can say, man, I'm glad I took this, I learned this again, was the things I learned from Dr. Alaska in those English courses. Wonderful. I, I will definitely share that and I will make a confession on live TV. <laughs> Dr. Lascott is the only lecturer in my entire academic career that made me cry. Oh! <laughs> and it was not her fault! <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not Oh my god, so you were. I read the instructions wrong. I did read the instructions wrong and when I realized. <laughs> It was too late for me to remedy it and hand in my assignments in time. And I was like, you know what? This is a lecture. She's going to understand. I'm just going to go straight to her and I'll talk to her. And I went up to her and I opened my mouth and I burst out in tears. And if anyone knows me, I am not the person who cried ever in public, in front of people. And Dr. Alaska was understanding the point. But um, her course is will, it will make you a better person. It will make you a better a speaker, a writer. But boy, is it tough. Um, read those instructions. People will read exactly what she writes. And of course, outline. If not, it will come back to haunt you. And you might end up crying. <laughs> She's, she has certainly <laughs> made a lasting impression. <laughs> But this is fantastic. I mean, we take courses and we often hear, why am I taking this math course? Why do I have to take that? Because when we're in it, sometimes we just focus on the difficulties or the challenges or the, the times I had to cry because I couldn't. And when we reach where you guys are and, where I'm, and we've moved on in life, we realize, oh, look how the very things that I thought were just not necessary, just there to make my life more difficult, have turned out to be things that have become very valuable and very helpful in my life. Thank you. I hope Dr. Lascott is hearing you all tonight. And if not, we're going to make sure that she knows that you all have given her such good ratings and kudos. <laughs> Thank you. And, and we're almost out of time, so we won't take a break for sure. But what I want to ask you to do as your final parting words, and I really thank you for bearing with us tonight. Tell us a fun fact about yourself. A fun fact about yourself. I want to go last. <laughs> <laughs> it can be oh, anything, God. any, literally anything. Huh? <laughs> Who's going first? Okay, I'll go first. Okay. Good. I'm not sure if it's a fun fact about me, it's more a confession. I do not like public speaking at all. Um, that is the biggest part of my job, and <laughs> that is probably the part that I like the least about my job, because I always get super, super nervous uh, when it comes to talking in public and talking to people, and sort of, especially if I'm sharing about myself. Yeah. Um, but Galen, boy, has that given me so many opportunities to challenge that, so many opportunities to grow, so many opportunities to learn that. My first international solo trip um, as a young career professional was thanks to Galen University. I ended up in Honduras at a youth conference. Um, 
a SICA conference against um, or working for youth and, and, and citizen security. So all of those wonderful opportunities to talk, to share, to grow as an orator. And the first one came from Gillen, and I'm still working on that public speaking, but thank you so much for that again. On behalf of Galen, I, you're welcome. <laughs> um, Jaro, Nikolai, a fun fact. Fun fact, well, since we're mentioning King that we might be afraid of, <laughs> I, I, I believe that um, I wasn't necessarily afraid of uh, public speaking, rather I was lacking something uh, uh, related to opportunity uh, searching or look, taking being opportunistic um so that's one thing that um i managed to learn at galen and i think i take pride in saying that when i see an opportunity i make sure i take it and and if it goes if it goes great then wonderful but if it goes bad then it's a learning experience and i think this is so this is a really good trait that i have learned from Galen, uh specifically from the the teachers at Galen university mm -hmm. um so the, 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 the high level, high standard education which you see by Galen is only brought to us but through the, the fantastic jobs done by the, the professors there. Mm -hmm. And they don't only give us the, the theory part of, of everything, all the courses and its, and its practicalities, but they, they go an extra mile to, to teach you different things that not only relate to that discipline, you know, they, they, they go an extra mile to tell you about what life is about, what, that we are young and we should do this and do that. And that. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was very inspiring to me. But I would not be here in Taiwan right now with these fellows if it weren't for them. And I would like to show so just a few, uh, a few good professors, of course, Dr. Lasso would be one of them. Uh, Dr. Silvia Katus is a very major factor. She played a big part in that as well. And um, just, just, I was just name a few. And I think it's just a wonderful thing to have learned that. So it's fun short. Now I, I take all the opportunities I get. When I see a challenge, I'm so excited. I think <laughs> Nikolai, that is fantastic. Keep on seizing opportunities, and we will let Dr. Katus know that she contributed. I'm just joking. She's right here hearing you. <laughs> I know. Um, we're very, we're really very proud of what Galen brings to our people and our community. Uh, yes, and and Jared. Jarrell, you're last, but not least. A fun last fact. Last but not least. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> a fun fact about myself is, um, is I have these Belize over everything t-shirts dropping in a couple of weeks. So, you know, Mr. Fields, Mr. Fields would be proud because that's marketing 101. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Let me give you a... Actually, I, I saw some shorts that I was told. Um, Jarrell just asked me if maybe I, he could, I could give this to some lady who could wear it. <laughs> so oh, Jarrell. Yeah, right. right. So, <laughs> yeah, we got the, everything. Everything coming through. We got the shorts and all. So that's definitely a fun fact. Um, I came out with JBV earlier this year, which stands for Just Be Victorious. So whatever you guys go through in this life, whatever we, you know, challenges and um, obstacles that we might face, you know, no excuses. Just be victorious. Just come out on top. And um, in these shirts represent that at the at the fullest. So come in and come in in a couple weeks. <laughs> Looking forward to it, <laughs> guys. You are fantastic. Right. Thank you so very much for joining us tonight. I know we are in different time zones. Well, Sylvia and I are in um, Belize, but the, the other, um, Nikolai and Jarrell, you are in different time zones. And I know you've made space to fit Galen into your night and we thank you so very much you were fantastic I want to enroll in Galen so Dr. Aird please can I I mean I feel so inspired and I really hope that our viewing audience people who are thinking about going back to school or young graduates who've just gotten out of high school junior college are really we're hearing us tonight and they're seriously considering Galen because we are accessible we are certainly affordable and there are lots of opportunities for you and education is an absolutely fantastic investment of your time and your money. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, we're, it's nine o'clock, so I'm going to just wrap up at this point and say a big thank you to our viewing audience. Thank you to the Love Crew who 
worked with us to ensure that our first show was a success, um, minus the glitches that comes with technology. Um, so this, we're going to be here every Thursday night for our first season. Our first season will have six sessions. We break and then we start back in September when the new school year comes. So for this first season, we look forward to seeing our viewers who are here tonight and more people as they learn about um, the Galen Awa. Um, there are really some interesting things coming up. Next, next week, we have Dean Gibbs on with archaeology and veterinary technology and those very practical um, courses and programs that we offer. And we are going to make it very real. We know these are things that our country needs. We know these are areas that we actually um, need graduates in. And so we want to talk about that next week. And then we will have lots of other really interesting things coming up after that. We spoke about the fact that we have a media school. We, we're hoping that we can bring on and talk more about the media school and where we're going after these first sessions. So tonight was a good night. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of Galen University for being through Soaring Eagles. I've added the soaring to it because I think you guys are just soaring. You're doing so fantastic. And this is what a Galen education really sets the foundation for. Thank you. All the best to you. Um, have a good night. And um, I sign off tonight inviting our viewing audience to join us here next week thursday at eight o'clock good night stay safe wear your mask social distance wash your hands and let us help to keep this pandemic pandemic under control see you next week thank you the galen hour Every Thursday, 8 o'clock p.m. on Love Television and Facebook Live.